the dog's pee. It was that's Layla. not Layla. That's a small pee. That is huge. Dude, I just said the dog. Ah! I am getting really sick of people fighting over. You take your dogs outside like a normal human being does. Now let them run around the house. Aaron, I need, saying, I need to talk to you. About dog poop? No, it's not about the dog poop right now. The girls have been telling me that you ask them to feed your dog all the time. Is that true? No, I didn't don't. say I never said that. Kiss my ass. How dare you say that to me? I never said you asked me to feed your dog. I said I did it because I wanted to, because I'm already feeding my dog. It doesn't hurt to feed another person's no. dog. Why do you have a dog if you don't feed the freaking dog by yourself? No, I'm not listening to you. No, no, you know what? Hey, handle your responsibilities. You're not listening to me? Aaron, take care of your animals, please. It's an issue. It feels good to be out. I'm sure it does. Because it's like everyone just bickers at each other. I got brought into this fight this morning, and I didn't even do anything. I didn't even say anything about Aaron not freaking feeding his dog. Why don't y'all just set up like a chore list, and y'all just rotate? No, we need like a big board right. with like you can write. Right, and you write it down. No, it's and not even just about rotate. chores. It's about just cleaning up after yourself. You gotta have some some type of organization up there, or if not, it's just a Fine. bunch of. It's, it's going to be a, just a bunch of background. What can you do? I wanted to let you know, I mean, I might be gone until really late, so don't let things get out of control here. They won't. But what am I supposed to do if they don't listen to me? I'm leaving you in charge. All right, all right. I'll try. You're the man of the house. Don't let it get out of control. I'll do my best. I mean, it's good to have a family back there because we're just emotionally mm -hmm. uh, supporting each other and it's, it's good for the uh, self esteem. Sixteen or seventeen songs are recorded. It's once we finish the songs, we all sit down and listen to the record and think if we have a record. Even coming back with this album this time, I feel more like it's more of an artistic vibe. It's producers are really sending us stuff. People really want to work with us. People know we have a direction. We know what you guys want to sound like. Now it's about how you want to recreate yourself. Because right now you're in a process now that you can really redefine who you are. Because you really are the last group standing. You are the you are the last. I hate to sound cornball or something. You know you you guys are it. I'm not even dealing with him right now. Like, oh, I was about to... No, just don't, no, no, don't. It's I'm not. Not my problem. I'll help you tidy up. No, no, it's fine, I'm done, I'm done, I'm over it. Like, no one else is, like, I don't care. It's really hard, especially when, like, he has a relationship with the family. Then it's like, it makes it even harder. Like, tell someone, like, we love you, right? Like, I'm, I don't, I, I don't have that spark going on. And he hasn't done anything really wrong. It's just like, that, and that's why, what, that's what makes it harder. 
Like, oh. Where'd Angel go? Trap. Mm. <laughs> Eric, do you realize how mean you are when Nick's around? Because he... Be he more of a man him. in front of a guy? Because we uh -huh. we have to compete uh -huh. with each other. They compete with each other. Uh -huh. You guys can't compete with each other. Anymore. We don't com I don't compete with him. I just have to f at least let him know that I can stand my own ground when he's talking to me. There's the competition coming in right there. We'd like to welcome everybody to Pool Garden. The Pool Garden. That'll be like the new name for this house. What's up, everybody? You guys having fun? Are you having fun, Aaron? I'm really proud of you. you guys having fun? Are you having fun, Aaron? I'm really proud of you. Don't start drooling, Aaron. What we'll happened? Dude, what, ha what happened? I go to go to work. Everyone's the damn a resort. It's animal house. I love it. Yes. You know what? I'll be back. Just wait here. Where are you going? What happened? Grocery store. That house. Nick walked in the house like the Grinch. He should walk in smiley like Ronald McDonald, but he doesn't, okay? He didn't. He didn't come in like Ronald. He came in like the hamburger that pisses everybody off. Aaron. Uh-oh. Nicholas. I don't care how wasted you are. Get your up. You're going with me. Come on, Nick. Where's your youth, bro? Aaron, come on. Come on. I'm going to have a talk with y'all, too. Why? You're an investigator, that's what you are. Nick, you better not be mad at me. Yeah, I am mad. Why? He's not. You're I'm mad. First of all, you, we're just all come adults. On. We can make our own decisions on our own without your permission. No, you're 18 years old. It what's matter. the legal age to drink? I am an what's adult. What's the legal age to drink? I'm an adult in this country. at our home. In this country, what's the legal age to drink? I'm an adult You're at our in my home. home, Aaron. In my house, you need my permission. No, I don't. You ask me. No, I don't. You ask me. <laughs> hey, grow <laughs> up, kid. Grow <laughs> up. I thought you want to get up and do something with your life. Grow the up. Grow up, man. Hey, grow up. Grow up. Nick, I never drink. You know that. I'm looking out for you. I just don't want you ending up like that, dude. But I, you know I won't be like that. Dude, you're falling all over the ground. Go near me, near me. What the I hell is your problem? To. Be smart. What don't am I not? End. How am I stupid? I'm telling you to be smart. Don't end up like them. I don't understand why you're coming at me because like I'm, I'm doing something afraid. wrong. Because I'm very afraid. I'm going to tell you why. Because it's a habit. Do you think it's gonna become a habit with me though? The whole drinking the afternoon thing scares me. I'm just letting you know that I know how to control myself and I know my limit. You know what I mean? Like, I really know my limit. They aren't doing jack Nothing. squat. They're coming in here and they're just hanging out and like, it's like a hotel, you know? Like, it's, it's gotta stop. All right, well, in that case. I'm sorry for well, putting I'm sorry. Like this. I'm you sorry for not happening. understanding your point. All right, you guys are good. Hug your brother, dude. Let's go get some groceries. Right. Favorite part of ghost shop. Dear God, help us. No, 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 no. No, we are doing this because we have no time to cook. I'm not handling drunk people. What time? And you know what? Maybe it'll yeah, absorb everything that's in beef. my system. See? That's what happens when you drink. Especially in the middle of the day. Dude. Hurry up. He's stupid too, you know? I don't feel so good. Do to you, man. They took advantage of me. No, I think you probably took advantage of the whole entire situation. No, because you weren't there to help me. With you. Don't do so much bouncing. Oh no. You can't have it your way. <laughs> Dude, I don't feel so good. Do you really need to throw up? Are you gonna think twice about drinking again, huh? <laughs> Nick. Ugh. You know your stomach can't handle that stuff. So why did you do it? To be cool? <laughs> yeah. To be cool. And didn't you yell at me? You, you came down on me hard. Nick, I can hear him right there. I'm gonna go, man. No. 
No, I'm not. What are you thinking, man? What are you thinking? I was thinking maybe if I got drunk, I could, you know. Maybe you could hook up with Carlene if you got her drunk too at the same time? No. I didn't Come on, dude. You don't think I know what you're thinking? Yes, I do, though, you know. You know. But why do you know all the time? You never drink again. You never drink? Let me hear that a little louder. What? I am never drinking again. It's all good. I still love you. I should listen to you more. Have you never done laundry? Nobody's ever taught you how to do laundry. Really? Aaron does not do laundry. High I don't want to teach him for the first time. This is right. awesome. All right. Come on. Let's do laundry together. Brotherly laundry. What do you want to wash? What's the, what's the most important stuff you got? Obviously, blues and whites. No, you just don't, you want to do kind of like light colors. Uh, blue is not a light color. That'll blend into your white. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm, Aaron's doing laundry. Wow. What? Oh yeah, put that in there. Heavy soil, large loads, which that's yours. Put it in there. No, no, put it in there, around it. No, not in there. I don't know. Let me see what that's for. Fabric softener, you want that out of there. <laughs> Pour it out there. It's your first load. Uh, you want to go to start. Go to start. Right, no, right there. Heavy, right there. Now. Let's see, you want to do probably warm cold. Warm cold. And then just go to large. And then pull it out. Yeah! Aaron did his first load of laundry! Freaking miracle! You had sex. Like two months ago? What? It doesn't matter. Like, I don't like him. <laughs> it was just a question. <laughs> no, he, like, he's such a great guy, but, like, I'm not, like, attracted to him. I mean, like, like how do you tell someone, like, I'm not attracted to you? You yeah, tell them. But, like, I love him, but I, like, If so you're not I attracted, say just leave. That's what I do. I just wanted to tidy up a little bit. Alright, where's the trash bag? No, don't help me. Get away. Leave me alone. I like Get out of here with some I, leave me alone. I'm I just like, trying to help you. I know. No one else is gonna help you, so I might as well help you, right? Right? Right, but you're up my butt, so please go. I'm not up your butt. I'm trying to help you. I know you're trying to help me, but I don't need help. What I need is some space. Well take your space and bitch well, about no. I have done nothing wrong. Please just leave me alone. And I'm here for you every day. No, I wish you weren't. And I've always been there for you because I love you, because I love the person you are. I love you. Leave. I want you out of my face now. No. I don't like you. F you. Get the f out of here. Because you try to make me look like a f that. No one can touch me. No one. No one. Please get off this property. You're not welcome back here. I don't care. I don't care. Leave. I'm gone, BJ. And don't come back. Really, I really, really don't want you to come back. Come here, baby. Come here. Come to mommy. for so long to like actually be in love with him. I tried to make myself and I couldn't. <coughs> then I do love him, I do. And that's why I'm hurting. I don't want anymore to cry. I really don't want to 
really don't. Well, so what do you want to do? Just sit around all day and no, just... No, 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 I don't not. Yeah, but BJ, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You're not doing anything, and, th and that's what makes you, like... No, I have stuff in the works that you don't understand, like, but right now this was the worst thing that could have happened to me. You didn't love the guy. You, t you said that how many times? I do millions? love him. I do. But I tried so hard to, to love him more because I knew he loved me so much. I tried, but, but I can't, couldn't. You can't force yourself. You can't force yourself. I know, somebody. but now it ended up like this, and now I feel, like, so horrible. You know, I think the only thing you're feeling guilty for, BJ, is for not loving him the way that he you he, he wanted to be loved. He did love me so no, much. No, BJ, that's what you're feeling guilty for. I tried, I tried. But you're feeling guilty for that, and that's not right. That's not right. But it's not wrong either. I just don't know what to do, man. I, I don't know if I should call Wes, and I, I don't know, dude. She's not listening to me. I'm afraid of her being by herself. I don't know. What well, we should call Wes. Wes, hey, it's Nick. What's up? Oh man, I'm sitting here, man, talking with BJ, and she's all really up right now. Well, dude, do you want me to come up and see her, man? I don't want her to be up, man. Would you come up, Wes? What's going on, Nick? How you doing? Come on in, man. So I was talking to BJ, and like, whatever it is you guys are going through, there's a better way to work it out besides running away and yelling and screaming at each other. It left off wrong, and that's all I ask. It's just right. to tell you. you know, Everything's cool. Everything's you know, cool. just y'all talk about it. Y'all talk. All right, buddy. Have fun balling out. Love you. Me too. Just y'all take care hey, of that, man. Come on, come on. We'll, we'll go somewhere else. <laughs> So we're here, well, where do we start? What's good, man? I'm really sad. Why are you really sad? I woke up this morning and I was like, it wasn't even the fact that like you were my boyfriend, it was like you're my, my, my best friend. I mean, BJ, if you care about someone, you don't push them away. You don't talk to someone you love disrespectful. And I'm sorry the other night, but you know what? I had enough. No, and, and you know what? That's what makes me feel so bad. You've never done anything wrong to me, and you would do anything for me, and that makes me feel like I'm, I'm trapped. I try to feel the way that I know that I should feel, but I can't. I can't do it. It feels like my mind is, like, just torn apart, and so is my heart and everything. And it's like everything is torn apart. I just wish everybody in this family got along. Like, the fighting, it, like, it makes me feel like I live in, like, the house of insanity. Like, this is insane. But, like, I really know that they can't help it because we grew up around that. And you know how you can help them? How? Be the one to set an example. I'm trying, but I'm, I'm worse than them. I'm not, not the person to look up to, believe me. Far from it. I really am scarred by, by my whole life. And that's why I hate like that you had to be a part of it. That's why I'd rather be alone, is because I don't want to hurt you anymore. But see, babe, you got to come to grips with all that. I'm trying. I'm OK, trying. and I'm going to give you your space to do it. If you don't want me around, I'm not going to be around, OK? I, d I don't know how else to do it, you know? Alright, baby. Hold on. You take it easy, okay? Yeah. Being, I love you too. Being... Yeah. Baby, everything's good. If you need me, you just call me, okay? Okay. Um... <laughs> Honestly, life doesn't come down to money, it doesn't come down to materialistic things. It doesn't come down to egos. It comes down to family, friends, and love. I, I, there's a lot of times I don't listen to you and I'm stubborn, but hey, man, I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel like I'm right when I'm really wrong. But that's a good thing about having I know. you. And there's sometimes I'm wrong, too, and yeah, I know you're right. That's okay. 
Let's just be happy that we're all alive today. After everything that we've been through, after all the obstacles and things we've had to go through, we're all here and we're laughing and having a good time. That's all that matters. All of us, all of us. You know I love you. And I'm really happy to be here. So I hope you know that. I do.